The 131st annual Red Kettle Campaign recently launched the season of giving and is urging everyone to help their neighbors in need. We want you to enjoy the show, but we need you to rock the Red Kettle. The Salvation Army's Red Kettle Campaign is the largest and longest running fundraiser of its kind, supporting more than 30 million Americans each year. Your $25 donation can help ensure that hope marches on for individuals and families in your own community. Good afternoon and welcome to Gulf Coast Today. I'm Tara Reed. Enjoy great food from the Bluegill Restaurant and fantastic music from local singer-songwriter Shelby Brown at this year's Buckaroo at the Blue event. Of course, funds raised will benefit the Buckaroo Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that provides access to physical therapy for children and adults with special needs. Mitchell, you were nominated for New Male Artist of the Year at the ACM Awards and of course, breakthrough video for Drunk Me at the CMT Music Awards. Talk me through how those experiences have been for you. In 2024, the world's population is expected to reach 8 billion. Over the next five years, this global population growth will continue to impact and strain agriculture, food and water production, and other resources that are crucial for the planet's sustainability. That's why IBM's 2019 5 and 5 focuses on how research, innovation, and technology development today can help transform the food supply chain of tomorrow. Joining us now are Jeffrey Welser with IBM and Chef Melissa King to explain. I'm gonna start with you, Jeff. So can you shed some light on what IBM's five and five is. Kellen Moore said the AC in his car was making a weird sound, so he popped the hood to take a look. And this is exactly what he found, more than 50 pounds <laughs> of pine cones. And Moore said that the pine cones expanded because of the heat from the engine. They do look really big, Tara. Yeah, my dogs do the same thing. I'll be cleaning up their different areas and I'll pick up a cushion and there's like three treats stashed right. underneath. It's cute though. It's summertime and that means more people are out on the roads visiting family and going on vacations. With all the added traffic, of course that means more possibility for car accidents to happen. David Green from Green and Phillips is here to give us some tips on how to make sure our summer vacation road trips are safe. So David, can driving during the summer months actually be much more dangerous. Did you know that Americans spend 95% of our time indoors and nearly half of that time is related to work? Well, a new initiative is looking to encourage Americans to spend more time outdoors during the workday and introduce the first of its kind outdoor collaborative workspace. Here to explain the benefits of spending time outdoors is Lee Stringer. And Lee, what's keeping us from enjoying the outdoors more? For Mitchell Tenpenny, Nico Moon, to Neil Towns and Kat and Alex. I'm Tara Reeves. Thanks for joining us. Coach Mass said that he believed they played hard the first couple of possessions. They had a few turnovers and then the air was out. He said the important thing this second half is to see how they react to adverse situations and to just not give up. Coach, you really capitalized on St. Paul's mistake, scoring twice off of turnovers. How do you continue to apply pressure in the second half? You know, our defense has been doing, doing that all year. Gutsy call to go for it on fourth down, but ultimately paid off with a touchdown. What went into that decision to you go know, for uh, it? It's, uh, you know, like everybody, we work on things all year long. You, you wait for the right time to pull it out, and it just worked out for us that time. It's working well, Coach. Thank right. you. Appreciate it. Let's go down to the sidelines and welcome in Tara. Good evening, Tara. Good evening, Jim. It's the last week of the season, and usually we're talking about losing kids to injuries this late in the year, but Spanish Fort is actually adding their leading rusher from 2017 tonight at running back. Connor Hagan tore his ACL during the first live practice back in May, and to many guys, that could be a reason to give up your senior season, but Hagan said that the first question he asked after the tear was, how long? until I can be back on the field. Doctors told him nine months, but he was determined to beat that timeline. And after intense rehab and physical therapy, Hagen is taking the field tonight to play in his first complete game, just a little over five months after his surgery on May 16th. And guys, as someone who's torn their ACL to say Hagen is determined is a huge understatement. Tara to make the long run on the far side. She's got Coach King, Tara. Coach Christian Williams already having a stellar performance on both sides of the ball, had a pick on the very first play, and then he got the first down on fourth and inches. Talk about the confidence you have in your senior. Um, he does a great job for us. One score game going into the half. 
I saw as the clock went down, you had a lot of excitement on the sidelines. What are you most looking forward to? And then how do you create some distance from the St. Paul's team? Um, they're a great team, but again, we just got to continue working. And Tara caught up with Steve Mass. What did Coach Mask have to say, Tara? He said tonight they're struggling with something that they've struggled with all year. They get inside the 40 and they're not able to produce offensively. And then on defense, he said they busted one coverage and the Toros just took advantage of it and scored. It should be a 7-0 ball game here to start the second half. He said they still have a chance, though. They just have to prove themselves. You have passed all the tests. You remain undefeated. And with tonight's win, you officially punch your ticket to the playoffs. How proud are you of your guys? You know, I'm proud of our guys. They show up every, every week. And for the first time in your school's history, you have shut out four teams in a single season. What do you believe is the key to your defense dominance? Well, a couple of things. Brett, Coach Kelly told me in order to win tonight, you had to run the show. You looked really comfortable taking snaps. This being your first year starting for the Spartans, where does your confidence come from? Uh, just the team in general. Rashawn, you really make a name for yourself week after week. Tonight was no different. Rush for close to 100 yards. What is it that allows you to be electric with the football? Um, just my brothers on offense. As you mentioned earlier, Region 1 is the most competitive region in 6A. And so far this season, Sarah Land has proven that not only can they compete at the highest level, but they're excelling. For the first time since the school's conception, the Spartans have shut out three teams and two of those back to back. And offensively, they've scored an average of six times more than their opponents. And of course, that's behind quarterback Brett Knees at. And I believe we're really going to see a test from this tough St. Paul's team tonight and see what Sarah Land is really made of. Well, if you want to win, you cannot turn the ball over. Coach Blackman said, thankfully, that early fumble did not cost them any points, but they have to come up with stops on third and fourth down. Offensively, he's impressed. They just have to continue to move the ball here in the second half. Let's hear more about it from Victoria's Saints. Tara's down on the field. Tara. Jay, you were clicking on all cylinders tonight against a tough Daphne Trojans team. What allowed you to be successful? Uh, you know, I think this team's really come together over the past week, and this week of practice has been great. Uh, I want to give all the glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, none of this would have been possible. And uh, I'm just so proud of this team right now. I couldn't be more excited. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Jordan, tonight you passed the 1,000 rushing yards mark. What does it mean to accomplish something like that in your high school career? Well, I worked very hard for it, so I think I really deserve it. And I ran my butt off today, so. Yeah. Congratulations, Jordan. And AJ. You guys have faced a lot of adversity this year, competing in a new classification, but you guys are overcomers. How have you been able to be so victorious? This team came in this year with a mindset of overcoming adversity, so we come out every night fighting. Thank you, AJ. Coach, you have to be able to convert on big plays and big games. Break down that fake punt on your own 32 that really changed field position for you guys. Well, it's just something we saw all week long. Riley Leonard seeing his first start tonight, already had some big runs and completions. What has impressed you most from him so far? Just his poise there. Guys, nothing but positive energy coming out of that Baldwin County locker room. Coach McDaniel said offensively there were some things that they needed to capitalize on in the first half, but it's really imperative that they score on this opening drive. Then he said defensively he thinks that they made some adjustments that hopefully they'll be able to hold blunt here in the second half. Coach, your defense was dominant tonight. Not only did they stop the Toros, but they really put your offense in a position to score. How did they do it? Earlier this week, you said you were looking for some people to step up and really take that leadership role over. Did you see anything tonight in terms of that leadership? Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. All right, we're going to step over to senior quarterback Sheldon. Sheldon, it's game one, first of all. Congratulations. Now, usually game one, you're trying to learn, make adjustments. I didn't see many mistakes that you made tonight, but what did you take away from this game? And in your senior season, winning your first game at home, continuing that 26-game home winning streak. Put into words how you feel right now. Oh, it's amazing. It's Everyone's it's life has been touched by cancer in some way, and no one knows that quite like Spanish Fort athletic trainer Rob Milam. Rob's wife, Jamie, was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2015, and UTV44 had the opportunity to speak with the couple three years ago as they battled this horrible disease. Unfortunately, Jamie passed away just last week, but it's her strength, her positivity, and her ability to bring the entire community together that we will remember forever. Spanish Fort head coach Ben Blackman told me that Jamie exuded pure joy to those around her regardless of what she was going through and said behind any good man is a great woman and that's exactly who Jamie was for Rob. She supported him on and off the field 
When speaking with Rob, he said, Jamie has my heart, she has my soul, and tonight our UTV 44 crew honors a courageous woman. Coach, you went for it on fourth down, not once, but twice, and got it. Is it something that you're seeing when the Tigers are lining up, or are you that confident in your guys to move the chain? I think it's a little both, so let's go out and see what happens. It's fun to watch. Seeing a lot of success running the ball, is that something that you hope to continue in the second half? Yeah. It's no secret that Davidson's football team gained national attention this past offseason, but amid the controversy, interim head coach Sean Smith says their team's motto has been eyes forward. They're focusing on one game at a time, and he said, his guys have been resilient. They haven't given up, and because of that, they're undefeated in the region. He's looking to make it 2-0 tonight. Coach, you struggled to get first downs early on. You've now hit your stride. How are you able to settle your offense down and put points on the board? You noted special teams when I asked you what it was going to take to win this game. Had a huge fumble recovery on a punt. Talk about the performance your special teams having so far. When it comes to what makes a great team, I believe there's a key component that cannot be taught, and that's chemistry. Coach Blackman said of brothers Jackson and Christian Burkhalter that they have a special connection on and off the field. I was able to sit down with Jackson, the quarterback, before the season and he spoke to that chemistry said there's just a comfort level there when you're able to throw passes in the backyard with your brother at camps and at practice I feel we'll see evidence of that chemistry here tonight I'll have more on that in just a little bit